Vaccines. A lot of people have a misconception about them. I don't know if I've told everyone why this before. You guys probably do know why this, but what is a vaccine? It's part of the virus that they put into you, but it's yeah. weakened or part of Yeah, it's not going to hurt you. So a lot of people are under this false impression that it's just some magic juice that they squirt in your arm, and all of a sudden you have like some force field around you for that disease. And that's not how it works, okay? What it does, and people who have never heard this before get really freaked out about it, but they're actually injecting the pathogen that causes the disease into you. So like the flu vaccine, they're injecting influenza inside of you. People are like, that sounds like a terrible idea, but why is it actually super smart? Your body needs to produce antibodies. Yeah, so antibodies, in order for your body to take something, a disease over, and not let it infect you, you have to have antibodies. Antibodies are... Does anyone know what the point of antibodies are? We haven't done immunology yet, but... They're markers. I like to think of them as like red flags. Yeah, so we'll learn. Macrophages are kind of stupid. I kind of think of them as like the cookie monster. They just go around eating stuff all day, okay? But they don't know what to eat and what not to eat. So antibodies, what they do is they attach to stuff and they work as red flags, saying, macrophage, come eat this. If, uh, if an antibody is attached to something, it means to eat. Okay, so if you, if I didn't get the vaccine for measles or something, measles gets inside of me, does my body know to eat that and to destroy it? No. Now, now eventually a lot of things will happen, which we'll learn about later, but do you guys know how long it takes to get immunity, well, for your body to remember something? Seven to ten days. So. Let's say measles comes inside of me, starts replicating my body. We have things called dendritic cells. They see it. It takes them seven days to walk to the nearest lymph node. Okay, and once they get to the lymph node, they start making antibodies and all that. Now by the time that whole process, like this cell talks to this cell, which talks to this cell, which talks to this cell, by the time that whole process is done, what has measles done inside of me? Replicated like nuts and I'm feeling pretty gross. Okay, so by the time I have antibodies, it's too late. So what's the point of a vaccine? Yeah, so we put, we either give the body a picture or we actually give them the disease, but in a weakened form, in order for them to do that seven to day, 10 day process when you're not really at risk. So when the actual virus comes in you, you already have antibodies. So you don't have to go through that amount of time. So that once it gets in your body, your immune system can pounce on it before it makes you sick. So it can still get in you, it can still start colonizing, but your body will take care of it before it's a big deal. And they're based on the disease, and so you need to know them for your diseases this week, for this test. There are a bunch of different kinds of vaccines that we look at the disease and we pick the best one for that disease. Okay, so what's one of the options? Agent. What kind? Attenuated, Attenuated whole agent. So another vocab lesson, what's attenuated mean? Weakened. Weakened. And what do you think whole agent means? Antibodies. Yeah, so attenuated, weakened. Whole agent, if we're talking about bacteria, it's the bacteria with the fimbriae and the pili and the flagella, and if it's gram negative, the LPS and everything. Okay, everything that that bacteria has is on it. The whole agent, whole thing. If it's, can it be for a virus too? Yeah, so if it's for a virus, it'll have the capsid, the nucleic acid in the inside, the spikes, everything. Okay? Now a lot of people see this and they're like, whoa, way too much not doing that. But why shouldn't they worry? It's weakened to the point where it won't cause too much harm to your body. Now, why don't we just kill it? Just your body Your body still will attack it, but will it be as scared? No. No. It will scare it longer. Yeah, exactly. So the more you scare the body, the longer it will remember. Okay? So attenuated whole agent is not only showing the body the whole thing, which is great, because it can memorize so many different parts of that, it can memorize the flagella, or the LPS, or the fimbriae. It can memorize so many things. So
So it has a lot of stuff to remember, and then it really wants to remember it because it scared them. It scared the body a lot. Okay? So usually if you have an attenuated whole agent, you don't need booster shots. You get it like when you're a baby, and then you won't, your body will not forget it. You'll have antibodies and B cells going throughout your body for the rest of your life. Is that okay? Now why don't, this sounds like pretty awesome, right? Not having to get more than one shot. Why don't we just do that for every disease? Why do I have to get boosters? Because it wasn't the actual, like it forgets, because it was weak and it forgets, it wasn't. Yeah, it's going to forget. And so, but why wouldn't I just make an attenuated whole agent for every vaccine then? Yeah, there are some diseases that are more dangerous than others. So like polio, we would never do an attenuated vaccine because the mutation rate of polio is way too quick. You can put them in, there, in your body, those mutate, and then all of a sudden kill the person. Okay? So some diseases, no. <laughs> you would never do this. You would actually end up killing people, most likely. But other diseases, this is a great option. Okay? So what's kind of like the lesser one? Still awesome, but not as awesome. An activated whole agent, yeah. So what's the same between these two? Whole agent. Yeah, so they're both whole agents. So again, oh, I can never spell whole. <laughs> so again, it's the whole thing. The whole bacteria, bless you. Or the whole virus. But what's the difference between these two? One's just weakened and one is so yeah, it cannot do binary fission if it's a bacteria. It cannot um, go into host cells and replicate if it's a virus. It's inactivated. I like to think, like when you go to movie theaters and you see the large printouts, like life-size people for the movies that are coming out, it's like that. Again, they have a lot to remember. So they remember it really well, but it doesn't scare them as much, so it's not as good as attenuated, but it's a lot safer. Is that okay? Okay, what's another one? Oh my gosh. Toxoid? Yes, toxoid. Okay, what's a toxoid vaccine made of? Toxins? Yeah, toxins. Okay, so our body hates toxins. We're going to learn about them in the next test. So a toxoid is really good at gaining the attention of the body. This little fun fact. Less than a tenth of a microgram of the botulism toxin can kill you. Less than a tenth of a microgram. At like Harvard, they made enough to kill the world and it was like a gram. It's like not much at all. So our body hates toxins. Go learn about cholera, which is my favorite disease, has a nasty toxin. Okay? <laughs> cholera is just, just wait, it's awesome. Okay. But toxoid vaccines, you're injecting a toxin. So can I do it for bacteria? Yes, can I do it for viruses? No, viruses don't produce toxins. So if you ever see them up there presenting a disease and they say a toxoid vaccine and they're talking about viruses, don't put toxoid vaccine because that would be dumb. Okay? It doesn't make sense. But can I do an activated and whole agent? Yes. An activated and attenuated? Yes. Because you can have those for both viruses. But toxoid is strictly bacteria. Is that okay? Okay, what's another one? Subunit. Okay, what's a subunit vaccine? Yeah, so just the spikes, just the fimbria, just the flagella. Now again, it's not like I'm seeing the whole life-size printout. It's like seeing a wanted poster. You're only seeing part of them, okay? So the body doesn't remember it as much, but it's still, it's still pretty effective. But you will sometimes, for some of them, need booster shots for it. But it's not the whole thing. It's only parts of it, so it's not as good. But for some diseases, that's the best choice. OK? All right, what's another one? Wait, bacteria or viruses for that one? Both, because you have pieces of both of them, right? OK, what's another one? Conjugated. Okay, what is a conjugated vaccine? Like to um, capsule 
Yeah. So remember what we said about capsules? Our body doesn't really like them because we can't attach to them and they're slippery and everything. Mm -hmm. So if I make a vaccine for a bacterium that has a capsule and I just inject the capsules into them, your body's not really going to do anything. Okay, it's just kind of like, no, oh, okay, whatever, and it's just going like, to float by, and you're not really going to get memory to it. But what did I just say the body freaks out about? Toxins. So what a conjugated vaccine does is you get the capsule and you attach it to a toxin. Now the point of the toxin is when you inject it in the body, the body sees toxin and freaks out. It just pounces on that toxin. And it's freaking out about the toxin. And it's like, oh, hey, what do you have next to you? And that's when it realizes the capsule. So you end up getting immunity to both of them. Okay? But if I just put the capsule in there, it's not going to do much. This is like the flashing light saying, hey, immune system, look at me, look at me. And then it notices the capsule. Is that okay? There's always capsule and toxin. As much as I've heard, yes. But I'm sure you could take something else that doesn't get the attention very much and attach a toxin to it. But I've only always heard capsules. And that's what I think he's going to focus on. Okay, I think there's one more. Nucleic acid? Yeah, nucleic acid, which I think is dumb. <laughs> so nucleic acid <laughs> is a vaccine that you inject. Nucleic acid? Nucleic acid. <laughs> <laughs> So the reason why I say it's stupid is your body sees nucleic acid and we have so many enzymes that just chop it up that it's kind of a waste of time. 